Yeah, my name is Phil Stone, I'm the Stadium and Operations Manager for Hulkington Rovers. I first met Moz, mostly when I first started at Hulkington Rovers. He was one of the first players that I got speaking to. Uh, a big man mountain of a bloke, very gentle giant who kind of made you feel at ease when you started. Uh, and then obviously he had only been in the role a couple of months when we went to the game at Wakefield where he had the uh, the incident which obviously changed his life. Yeah, it was just... It it happened on the, on the 12th of January and uh, it was just like a normal tackle. I went in and um, I kind of missed missed the bloke and my neck went into hyperextension. Um, so I snapped the ligament in the front of my neck and then as I was going down I snapped the back ligament <laughs> and then when I landed on the ground um, the, the bones in your in your neck just kind of crushed together. Initially I was par yeah, paralysed from the, from the neck Oh, from my shoulders down, so I could only shrug my shoulders and, and move my head, so I couldn't feel anything. And that, that was scary, but, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get the surgery really quick. Hi, I'm Brian Stowe. Uh, I've been the operations manager here at South Sydney Rabbitohs for the last three years. Uh, well, my brother sent over uh, three Super League balls, Hull KR Super League balls, uh, and a that in UK, what they've done is they've walked, my brother walked uh, all around all the various Super League grounds, basically from the west coast of England, uh, from St. Helens across the Hull. About 150 miles, stopping off all the grounds. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a joint effort, really. Uh, everyone was very supportive. Most people from other clubs kind of joined you for two or three miles. Moss is just a normal bloke. He, he's more worried about other people. Uh, he, he never really takes into consideration what, what's wrong with himself. Uh, so it was actually quite humbling when he came along. He joined us for a couple hundred metres of the walk. Uh, unfortunately, we had to kick him into the van because he would have carried on doing more. But he's, yeah, he's just overwhelmed with the support that he's got, obviously from all of Rugby League family. Hey guys, um, it's been a pleasure just to walk with the boys in the walk and talk um, fundraiser. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure just to to see these guys walking uh, that they've done 142 miles of um, 150 so um, we're, we're, they're coming into Kirkella now and um, hopefully um, some people can get out and um, beep their horns or give them a wave or cheer them on so um, I would just want to thank everyone for their support and um, hopefully see you guys soon. As much as he said it would be a good idea for me to do the same I didn't fancy walking Auckland through Melbourne, Canberra, Sydney and up to Townsville uh, so I come up with another uh, another solution was that all the all the NRL skippers would sign this uh, and do it, send a little message to to Mossy, uh, which they have done. So these have been signed, uh, and these balls will be auctioned. Uh, two will be auctioned in UK at a, a farewell dinner for Mossy before he comes back to Australia, and then the third one will be auctioned across here at a welcome dinner. Obviously, with with Brian working for the Rabbitohs, get it signed by all the all the skippers. A bit of a, a bit of rugby league history, obviously having a ball signed by all, all, the, all the captains at the same time. Everybody has chipped in uh, and wanted to do something for one of their own. So without exception, every club uh, and every individual player and certainly the skippers have been, been absolutely outstanding in helping us out. Adam Reynolds from the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Got a UK Super League ball here. Uh, it's got to get back to Mossy. Make sure you sponsor it. Uh, it's going to a good place. See you soon. Ah, Super League ball. Raise some funds for Mossy. This is Nathan Cleary from the Penrith Panthers. Got a Super League ball here. Got to get this back to Mossy. Sponsor if you can and help him out. AJ, you there? Yeah, gotcha, mate, gotcha. You only score six tries a weekend. Give me a celebration. I gave you one last year, mate. Good, we'll do it again. Hey, Mark, uh, can you put Wayne Bonnet on, please? Yeah, yeah, here he is. Who are you, mate? Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne Bonnet. Oh, mate, I was a talented junior, weren't I? But I didn't have the right pathway. Don't ring me again.
uh, we've jumped on board and helped out and the, and the lads, uh, as you would have seen in the last round, the lads have been uh, extremely easy coming forward and wanting to, wanting to show off their skill sets other than on the rugby field. Cook goes to Murray, now Walker, a kick here on play too, it takes a Tiger boot and it bounces to Alex Johnston who and has Reynolds wasn't even touched then. Not one person laid a finger Hearing on him. a little post try celebration. Even though and is that a, is that a goanna? Oh, I thought it was a goanna going into a surfer. <laughs> what about that? Uh, a, a massively appreciative initiative from, by Sportsbet and one that will, will benefit Mossy hugely. Uh, another one of the connections uh, at South Sydney, uh, just coincidentally, is Chelsea Smith, who's the marketing coordinator here at South, who ironically has to be the daughter of the head coach of Hull KR, Tony Smith, uh, and she's been outstanding in our efforts. So back in April, April 11th, I um, ran a half marathon. Yeah, it was really tough uh, just because I was studying full-time, working full-time, so I didn't really give myself any time to train. Um, so it was tough, but um, it's nothing compared to what Mossy's gone through and it was worth every step for, to do that for Mossy. And he's come a long way. He can walk assisted now um, and he can, you know, he's starting to use his hands a bit more. Um, but yeah, he's made um, so much progress, leaps and bounds. It's, it, it's going well, uh, but there's still a lot of a lot of work to go. Uh, you could see when he was walking, it was it was a struggle for him. Uh, but Mossy being Mossy, just obviously head down and, and cracks on with it. Just heartwarming to see the NRL getting on board with it too, as well as Super League and everyone pulling together to do the best for Mossy. And my brother, my, both my brother and myself come from a military background, and uh, we certainly sort of live by live by the motto of look look after your own. And I see this very similar. Uh, similar feeling within the rugby league community, both here and in UK. They very much want to look after their own. I'm one of those people that just just to like prove people wrong, you know. So I've always been that type of person, and um, it's all it's all in between the ears. If you if you're strong there, then you'll be sweet. So I think all the injuries over the years have taught me lessons to prepare for this one. So you know. Um, it, it, it just made it a lot easier, you know. Uh, a lot of people will probably say, "Oh, it's been tough." You know what? It's been it's been actually it's been a good journey, you know, for myself. You know, every day is it's exciting. It's like being it's like being reborn again.